Hey there, Bridge family. It's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you about your questions and your answers. What questions do you bring to the Lord? And what answers do you have for him with his questions for you? Think about it. Your questions oftentimes will bring a very clear reflection of your heart to the surface. For example, those that are crying out and asking God to please give them or to ask, why won't you give me the things of this world? Lord, why won't you help me to be rich and famous, powerful and comfortable? Those questions reflect what they really want. They reflect the heart. Those that question God about things of the world while wanting the things of the world, are reflecting and revealing that their hearts are really grounded in this world. They are what Jesus would call bad soil in his parable of the soils. On the other hand, if we're asking the Lord to help us to be more like Christ, if we're asking the Lord, why can't I be a greater reflection of you? What is it that's hindering my walk, Lord? Show me so that I may surrender it to you. If I need to confess or repent, I want to do that, Lord. Help me. You see, the questions and the concerns of a person give you a very real look into the depths of their heart, the soil that is their heart. I want to encourage you to ask the right questions, the righteous questions. Lord, can you please help me to be more like you? And then to offer up the same righteous kinds of answers when asked, what do you want? To say, Lord, I want you. When asked, do you understand? To say, Lord, I want to understand even more. Please help me. Show me. When asked, who will you live for? That you'll answer, Lord, I want to live for you. Help me to grow in my learning, in my loving, and in my living for you. Again, just some deeper thoughts about your questions and your answers that are in line with the teaching of Jesus. I pray as you press into Matthew chapter 13 that he'll give you eyes to see ears to hear, and a heartbeat that not only understands, but shows the world the truth and love of our King. His name is Jesus and his kingdom. Amen and amen.